always love it when we have a special guest in studio, and this guy's not going to be in studio. Um, we but we're still going to love it. Yeah. yeah, we couldn't convince him to come up here in studio because he's a germaphobe, and he notices that Giorgio's been coughing a lot on the show. He's been listening all morning. Mm, I don't know about that. So he's calling in from the cubicle area <laughs> out there. His name is Norm McDonald, and he joins us now on the phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Norm McDonald, welcome to the program. How you doing, man? <laughs> Are I'm you having a good morning? Yeah, I'm doing well. When did you wake up? Uh, morning busted for me around uh, 545. Good Lord. Yeah. What? Now, do you normally wake up that early, or are you just doing a round of interviews? No, I, I wake up pretty early. You know, I like to get up. Uh, you know, I do run my six miles. <laughs> You're not. Are you a fitness guy? You're not a fitness. No, guy. no, I'm not a fitness guy. I, s- I, didn't, I didn't mean. Uh, I was just lying. <laughs> do you smoke? I, you know, I quit smoking. Did you ever smoke? Did I ever smoke? I have he, before in like the past. A chimney, he did. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's good to quit, right? How many years did you smoke? God, forever, man. <laughs> I mean, I started when I was fourteen. So, uh, you know, I'd go off and on, and uh, then finally, man, finally I looked on the side of the pack, and uh turns out they're not that not as good for you as you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, uh, what's going on with that salvia, man? I was watching Saturday Night Live with Miley Cyrus, uh-huh. and they were as much as uh, promoting it. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but uh, doesn't that seem a mite uh, irresponsible? Yeah, that, uh, you know what she, he's talking about there, Giorgio? He's no, talking about, not. you know, Miley Cyrus, that video footage of her smoking out of a bong. She was smoking that salvia, I think it's called, or mm-hmm. whatever it is. I don't even know what's in that crap. Is it an herb? Is it a chemical? Well, I guess it's legal, like all drugs are when they begin. Right. But, you know, I've seen things, and because you, you can look up people on Salvia on YouTube, and they, they just go into, like, a coma. It's, like, uh, yeah. it looks incredibly dangerous. What's the hardest drug that Norm McDonald's done? Uh, I guess, I guess love. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in love right now, Norm McDonald? Uh, listen, I, I, I want, I love, uh, you know... I just want to be the world's best friend. Give everyone a hug. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> oh, that's really that's nice. Sweet. Really nice. Okay, let's talk about this new um, game show that you have. It's high stakes poker, right? Yeah, yeah. It's on the Game Show Network. And how long have you been a serious poker guy? Um, well, I played. I, I don't know. I probably played for about twenty years. It's a pretty fun game. Can you beat Welcome Back, Cotter? No. He's, like, really good, isn't he? The Gabe Kaplan? He's, he's really good. I can beat Horshack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're hosting the show, and is this going to have these same really cocky players with sunglasses on it that we see on ESPN all the time? <laughs> and if it is, could you ban sunglasses from the set? No, I know. Sunglasses. Well, a lot of people want to make them illegal. Well, they should be illegal. Yeah. The eyes are telling. That's the window to the soul, and they yeah. want to know. No, when I play poker, I leave my eyes. Uh, you know, I take my sunglasses off, and I, I invite people to look into my soul because uh, I don't know what's going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> and if they can give me any tips on, uh, on what's happening inside my mind. Do they? Do, I'm more than happy to take them. So you are against people wearing sunglasses, although they will wear them on your show. Yes, I'm against it. What about two eye patches? <laughs> 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 I've never seen that look. You, you see but like I a, think it's cool. There's pirates again. Yeah. I mean, I know it's, uh, I know it's terrible for the people who've lost their lives, but uh, but it's funny, kind of. It's just fun, man. The pirates go away for a long time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with Kinda. you. Kinda. It'd be Excellent. like if all of a sudden there was like knights walking around. <laughs> Norm McDonald is our special in studio on the phone guest. There's cowboys. There's some poker guys dressed as cowboys. And then you go, that's strange. Like I haven't seen a cowboy for 
hundreds of years either. So is it possible that when we tune into this show, you could see like a cowboy, a knight, and a pirate <laughs> all playing poker? Yeah, it is. It's more than possible. It's probable. <laughs> yeah, it's highly probable. Did you enjoy your time on Saturday Night Live, or was it a beating because they're always messing with you? Oh no, I loved it. Nobody messed with me. I mean, they talk. They tell me what to do. And so is that what you mean? By messing? Yeah, like uh, I thought that they, you know, they censored you a few times and it made you no, mad. No, they never did. They they tried to right. I was tuned they in. Just, uh, they just tell me what to do. <laughs> Although I thought they were just suggesting what I should do. <laughs> Turns out they were actually telling me. What to do. And I was tuned in one night, and I swear, didn't you say the f word or something like that? Yeah, I did one time. And it just took, completely slipped out. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, yeah. It's actually all the other words slip out. Hmm. But not the that word is is very hard not to say. I don't know if you've ever. I mean, you guys, listen, you guys work in the, in the fourth estate. You know how hard it is not to say that word. Oh, yeah. Especially for oh, the it's, time. It's right there. It's ready to go. I went on a rant about Easter, and I said the F word like five times the other <laughs> Whoa. day. Whoa. Yeah. It's pretty serious. All right, Norm MacDonald is uh, with us on the phone here in the Well, corner. that's downright dereliction of duty. What did you say? Daryl who? I said saying it at five times is downright dereliction of duty. Okay. All right, calm down. You're getting violent with us. All right, now this is what I want to talk with you about other than the high-stakes poker show that's on the Game Show Network. We encourage everyone to tune in. Uh, starts, uh, when does that start? Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay, when you were on Saturday Night Live, you were, I think, you and Dennis Miller were the greatest weekend host update guys ever i may even give you the nod over dennis miller although it's tough now you hate dennis miller right hey no i love dennis miller. i was just trying to start something there uh -oh. but, <laughs> but but anyway when you were the host of weekend update it was during the oj simpson time and you were pretty uh pretty hilarious about how much you were convinced that oj was guilty this guy was guilty of sin and you made that known every single weekend on weekend update well, one of the big wigs over at NBC, what's his name, was friends with O.J. Uh, Olmeyer. Uh, yeah. Olmeyer. Yes. And didn't that cause you some heartache with Olmeyer that you would go on there blasting O.J. Simpson and he told you to lay off? Yeah, he's, he, didn't want, he didn't want any more jokes about O.J. I mean, he was his friend, you know. He was his best friend. But it, isn't that on him? I mean, if he wants to be friends with a killer, what is that <laughs> your business? I mean, why, oh, why, is, why does he have to mess with you? He was found not guilty in a court of law. Yeah, well, I didn't say he didn't get away with it. I just said he was a killer. <laughs> well, I think you're being a little reckless. With what? The facts? With, with calling him a killer, I mean... Okay, do you think OJ did it? With you. I won't argue with you if you're going to say he's guilty of being the best running back ever. Oh. <laughs> he's trying to I get won't back argue to with you if, if, if you say he's guilty of uh, stealing his own shirt. In a, in a foiled shirt stealing uh, caper. But when it comes to killing, I don't for a second believe he killed his wife. I think he did kill that waiter that was with her, though. <laughs> oh, hey. Jeez. My theories are constantly evolving. <laughs> All right, does Norm McDonald ever get mad? Or are you always this kind of. Um... I don't know, just kind of a real pleasantly lazy talking, float down the river kind of guy. Uh, I'll tell you what makes me mad. You know, people are against four letter words. I'm, I'm against a, an 11 letter word. Give us an example intolerance. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, that makes me pretty happy, too. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> just being intolerant toward people. Mm -hmm. Do you still do stand up? Oh, yeah, man. I, I do stand-up. I'm on the road more than, uh, the, uh, I don't than know. people who aren't on the people. road. Let's call Dennis Miller and find out. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm, I'm on the road a lot. Yeah, I don't want to get Dennis Miller on the line because you guys will bicker because I know you guys hate each other. <laughs> yeah, I got a Comedy Central special on Saturday. You do? Yeah, you can watch it on TV on Saturday night. Would you like to plug it? Um... 
No, nah, that's cool. You, it, I don't need to plug it. Just it's watch com- it Saturday night. <laughs> Sounds like it's competing with high stakes poker. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is actually. It's on 1130. It's on opposite Saturday Night Live. Ooh, that's interesting. Hey, so what's it like to be a game show host? Do you like that uh, that gig? Well, it's not exactly a game show host because uh, it's not exactly a game show. It's it's just guys playing poker. Yeah, George. What's well, on the game show network? I would call that a game show, wouldn't uh, it's it? On a, yeah, but it's not it's not uh, by by strict uh, dictionary definition a game show. Yeah, it's because it's just guys playing poker. And then uh, I uh, commentate on it, you know. Uh, and I'm very good. I get to see their whole cards, which gives me a big advantage. Mm-hmm. So, so you hear stuff like, oh, why is he betting? That guy clearly has a five. <laughs> well, wait, the, the audience also sees the whole cards, too, right? Yeah, the audience can be part of the fun of, uh, of ridiculing uh, world-class poker players. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're a game show host on that. And stop it, Giorgio. He doesn't want to be accused of being a game show host. <laughs> no, this, is the, this is the difference, is that poker's not a game show. Yeah, it's a game, and then you're yeah. doing a show on that. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to listen to you two guys bicker <laughs> as no, if you're Dennis like, Miller and Norm MacDonald. It would be like calling uh, it would be like calling Marv Albert a game show host because he commentates a game. You know what I mean? Good point. Yeah. Okay. Point. You got me there. there you got you me go. there. Touche. Yep. You got me there. All right. So your last stand-up comedy gig, where was it? My last one mm-hmm. was in uh, Portland, Oregon. Did you kill it? Oh man, are you kidding? People are still people's high, uh, sides still hurt in Oregon, from what I've heard. <laughs> Did you kill it as as much as OJ killed it on that fateful night? Wait, what? June 1995. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right, Norm, we have to let you go because I know you have a whole bunch of interviews. Uh, I think you're doing Leno right after you're hanging up with us. <laughs> <laughs> Norm McDonald, it's the high stakes poker non game show on the Game Show Network. Yeah, it's an om- it's an anomaly. <laughs> it's this Saturday night. It's on opposite of Norm's stand up special on Comedy Central. <laughs> so <laughs> enjoy an all Norm Saturday night. Thanks for joining us, Norm. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, all right, we'll see ya. See ya. That's the most laid back human on the planet and you know what i've always loved that guy i was serious i thought he was great as yeah. the, uh, i thought he was i thought he rivaled dennis miller as the greatest <laughs> mm-hmm. weekend update guy you know what? i think dennis miller was the best but i would put norm in the top three and in fact chevy chase who's probably the other guy i would put in the top three said norm mcdonald is the only one who's gotten it right since he left really yeah so he excluded dennis miller yeah. out of that He's just so dry, and the way he would do deliver the jokes were so funny. And I knew people, and he, I think he's very divisive because I knew a lot of people who hated him on that show, like they didn't like his delivery, and they God, never bonded with him. I thought he was awesome at it. So he did some impersonations on Saturday Night Live too. He did Burt Reynolds, that was greatness. Awesome yeah. one too. Bob, Bob Dole. Dole, that was great. Yeah. Remember the episode of? I want to say it was like a what was the the real world remember that show on mtv Mm -hmm. they did the real world when bob dole moved into the house with the kids (laughs) and of course they hated him because he was so grumpy and wouldn't let him borrow any of his pasta or anything (laughs) in the kitchen and then they showed him after he'd been ostracized and he went and crawled in his top bunk of his bunk bed and they started playing everybody hurts by rem and showing him crying he did letterman i remember that was funny yeah he was he was the best letterman i thought he was much better than piscopo's letterman Mm mm-hmm and it, and looking at a bio of his that has some of his funny quotes, this is my favorite. I was in my peak physical condition when I was like, uh, one. <laughs> 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 he said, oh God, I looked so good then, young and fresh. And you know, there's a famous ticket host who's patterned himself after Norm MacDonald. Dan McDowell. Dan McDowell. Dan McDowell. Yeah. yeah, in fact, he called me yesterday. Man, you got him in studio? Yeah. I think he wanted to come up here and like meet him because he loves him. Yeah. Well, I mean, think. listen to Dan. You hear that's that's yeah. the mm-hmm. imitation of Norm MacDonald. Yeah. The great Norm MacDonald. So there you All go. Right, Thanks, Norm, for popping on with us. I'll watch that.
Sure. I'll take a swim through that uh, high stakes poker show. Why not? Right, that's the uh, uh, corner. Near McDonald. Uh. It's 933. <laughs> Sports Radio 1310. The ticket. We've got fun with Rich Audio next. The ticket. All right. AT&T is a proud partner of the NCAA.